Look at that, that looks sick. All right, guys, I know I'm wearing the same shirt as the last video, but I figured I'd knock out two videos at once. Um, so this is my personal car that I did the testing in for the, um, you know, what happens when you hit the push button while driving. Um, I wanted to do a review on it so you guys could see what it's like. Um, it is rainy out. The car is wet. But it is what it is. The car is a little bit dirty inside, but nothing crazy. I'm sure for some of you, this is like the cleanest car you've ever seen. But uh, for a lot of you, this will be a little dirty. But it is what it is. Figured I'd knock the video out while I have time. And uh, so, yeah. This is a 2018 Dodge Charger SXT Plus. It came with uh, optioned out with the Super Track Pack and the Blacktop Package. Super Track Pack gives you performance body, like the hood with the hood scope, which you guys will see in a minute. The different front bumper, the different side skirts, rear bumper, and exhaust tips, rear valance. Also it comes with performance pages, which I will show you more in detail in this video. Launch control. It comes with a little bit more horsepower. It is a V6, a 3.6. This one is rated at 300, which is a good amount of power for a daily driver. You're not going to be out here racing in this thing, but uh, it is cool that it has launch control and you can still have a little bit of fun in it while driving it every day normally, saving on the gas, things like that. Blacktop package is uh, the two mirrors on the sides. They are blacked out. And the blacktop package also gives you the boss black 20 inch wheels 20 by eight or eight and a half i believe and it comes with the 245s a one piece spoiler um a one piece spoiler a one piece spoiler a one piece spoiler kind of like a like a hellcat spoiler but i'm gonna actually show you guys the uh the window sticker so you guys can see exactly how everything is optioned out you guys can see everything if you want to know about the car something i might not mention so like I said, this is a 2018 Dodge Charger SXT Plus with Super Track Pack. These are all the standard equipment on a SXT Plus 2018 Charger. And that's the optional equipment. Standard. I'm sure most of you guys already know. SXT Plus comes standard with the 8.4 Uconnect. Apple CarPlay, which is nice. You really don't need uh, navigation in this car. Honestly, it has Apple CarPlay. Most people use Apple Maps anyways, or Android Auto, whatever their Maps thing is, Google Maps or whatever it is. I mean, you really don't need a navigation system in this car separate as an option. This is the optional equipment. So cloth interior package. It is a cloth interior, but this is a nice, nice cloth. And to be honest with you, my old BMW had a... Uh, had um red leather and like it looks really cool not just red leather any leather it looks really cool but uh it's not comfortable i think i personally think cloth is way more comfortable way more breathable in leather you just sweat when it's hot i don't know cloth doesn't look as nice but cloth is way more comfortable a little bit harder to keep clean but it is what it is black top appearance group 20 inch by 8 inch gloss black painted aluminum wheels 245 45 20 all season performance tires sport suspension and then we got the super track pack which is kind of the highlight of the car it kind of sets it apart from any other v6 uh charger you got your hood scoop you got the bright pedals which i didn't install and the dealer didn't either but i don't really care like i was trying to put on the brake and as some of you guys probably know that uh the brake is the hardest thing in the world to put on. I think I wrestled it for like an hour. And then I was just like, you know what? Screw it. Screw it. I don't even, I don't even like it. This is easy to put back on because it's flexible. The performance pedals are not flexible. So it was a real pain. But blah, blah, blah. Performance pages. Blah, blah, blah. Sport mode. Whatever. Performance fascia. Performance side sills. And I brought the MSRP to about 35000 so let's hop out and take a look at this car. We got a little custom badge. A little custom badge, super track pack. I got that from uh, 
rebadged design on Instagram, found them, made it for me. These are the black top wheels, those are 20s. Yeah, super track pack badge, just says Dodge performance, so it's actually functional. Yeah, this is white knuckle. Black top wheels make it look really nice. Let's step back a little bit. Look at that, that looks sick. Those are 5% window tints. Umbra window tinting, if you ever need window tints, you should go there for sure, definitely. He did a great job and it looks awesome. We got the Dodge Charger registry right there, 581. That's the one piece spoiler. One piece spoiler, one piece spoiler. It's got the backup sensors. We got the tail light tints. We got the Charger black badge. This is a matte black spoiler. One piece spoiler. One piece spoiler. A little NRA. A little NRA action. If you open this, nothing major. A little duct tape just in case we gotta close someone's mouth. Close this. This is uh, what the seats look like. Let me get my little sweater out the way. That's a nice ass car. That's what the door card looks like. Now watch this. No cap. No cap. I love this. I love this. It is awesome. Now let's get inside and show you what we're working with. So obviously to turn it on, you're going to hit the brake and push start. And it's right here. Almost pressed it. Got the little charger emblem. And if you use these buttons right here, if you hit OK, switches so the kilometers per hour. New American cars do not have a kilometer per hour meter in a speedometer. So if we scroll down to vehicle info, you got your tire pressure. You go to the right, you got your coolant temp, brands temp, oil temp, oil pressure, oil life, battery voltage, intake air temp, torque, and horsepower. And then you're back to tire pressure. This is where the performance stuff is. Here's your lap timer, lap history, top speed, zero to 60 timer, zero to 100. Eighth mile timer, quarter mile timer, braking distance, G-forces, peak G-forces, back to lap timer, fuel economy, trip info, audio, messages, screen setup. This is where you could customize your screen. See, then it goes back to speedometer. This is where you could customize your screen. So you press OK. You could change the upper left to upper right. Uh, go back to default. You could pick if you want to show the current gear. Right there, it'll show you first. It'll say number one, two, three, all the way up to eight because it's an eight speed and it tells you uh, what gear you're in. Get rid of this gear display. You could pick to just show the gear you're in now, or you could pick to show the full thing. Settings saved, you just hit okay and it saves it. You could customize the whole thing. I mean, I put this how I like it. Um, and yeah, and to get out of it, you hit the left button, and then you're out. If you get a 2015 plus charger and you change your own oil, it's super easy to reset the meter. You go to your oil life, which is in vehicle info. You just hold OK and it'll throw it back up to 100%. Super easy if you change your own oil. I know like some cars, like you have to turn the car off and hit this button, turn the car on, hold this button, press the brake, press the gas, turn it off, turn it on. <laughs> just go in there and uh, hit the button. Mute, obviously, your hazards. Screen off. You can also turn it all the way off by just hitting the volume button, press it in. And now we're back on. Super Track Pack throws you to the performance page. This is to turn off your parking sensors. Park sense off. Heating AC. You got it in here. You also got it in here. Climate. Oh, man, that's annoying. Off. You could change the background. Display. Set theme. Come on, man. That's a little Hellcat. This is like a regular one. Another Hellcat. 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 We'll leave it at this one. I kind of like this. I kind of like this. You could turn off that little beep, but I kind of like it, to be honest with you. It also changes your buttons down here. So now we're going to go to the performance page. You hit this, hit the super track pack, and we're going to hit a no, like this, and it takes you there. So you could finagle how you want your modes to be, you know. I have my steering in sport, everything else is normal. But then when you throw it in sport mode, you could choose how you want your sport mode to be. I don't know, I would just leave everything in sport. That's how it comes as default. And then you got launch control. But yeah, we're gonna put it on there. We're gonna hit activate, activated, blah, blah, blah. And it's gonna do one of these. And yeah, we just burn the tires. 
it's wet, so it's rear wheel drive, you know, it's typical. Throw back in park. <coughs> Gonna go to performance pages. So this is my home power torque, oil temp, and intake air temp. You got your timers, your gauges. There's more than one page in here. You got your G-force, and this is active G-force. Oil pressure, torque, horsepower. Live dyno. It shows crank horsepower up to 500. Software. It's compatible with scat packs. They probably took this off scat packs and just threw it in. Man, that seatbelt chime is annoying. Hold on one sec. They probably just took it off scat packs and uh, put it in these V6s, RTs, and everything, and keep down the cost. Typical Dodge move. And yeah, interior space on these chargers is sick. Um, like, it's like an airplane cockpit. Like, this is sick. I mean, this car is like the full package. And if you want more power, they got it. They got it if you want 292, 707. It's crazy. So this car is literally the full package. Yeah. Gotta chill out. A little review. 2018 Dodge Charger. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys found it informative, buy Dodge Chargers. We need more Dodge Chargers. We don't want them to die out. Buy Dodge Chargers. Give me some idea some ideas of um, more videos to do. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, you like me enough to subscribe, like, comment, watch my other videos, things like that. I gotta go right now. And uh, yeah, we got some more videos lined up. Have fun. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time.